Hello everyone, my name is Simon Rhodes and I'm the Head of Account Management at Flextricity. Co-locating batteries with renewable energy generators is being looked at more and more often now. I'm going to spend a few minutes explaining why this is happening and what the key considerations are. Co-located projects where a battery and a generator share a meter are more complicated than standalone storage projects, but they do achieve a few things. Firstly, available grid connection capacity is becoming harder to find. Co-locating batteries with renewables, particularly solar, is a pretty efficient use of a grid connection. This is because the two generators complement each other. The solar generation generally wants to export from the meter at times when the battery is unlikely to want to do the same. And the higher priced wholesale market, morning and evening peaks, when the, when the battery wants to export, are periods where there is likely to be low or no solar generation, depending on the time of year. Secondly, the grid connection and some of the installation costs are shared between the solar and the battery. Indeed, in many investment cases, they can be pretty much entirely covered by the solar farm. This means that when compared to a standalone battery project, the capex for a co-located battery can appear cheaper in relative terms. Making sure the metering is correct for what the site is going to be doing is critical. Site owners wanting to maximise their gross margin for both assets need to give this proper consideration at the outset. If they don't, they might find that the sites cannot be settled properly and value is left on the table. We have a solution here which we're happy to talk to people about. AC coupled sites, which are electrically connected upstream of the AC side of the inverters, have been the norm so far. There are pros and cons to both AC and DC coupled sites, but AC has been winning because it's been better understood as a business model and allows for the solar farm and the battery to be considered as separate projects or investments sharing a site. DC coupled sites are inherently more efficient if you're charging a battery with power from the generator. But there is potential downside from this approach too. Again, we're very happy to talk about this. For most of the co-located sites that come across our desks, some value is left on the table for the battery. However, when you look at batteries co-located with solar, it doesn't need to be much if the solar and storage assets are sized correctly around the grid connection. The question we always get asked after saying that is, what is the optimal ratio for co-location? There are too many variables to give a definitive answer on that, but we're very happy to discuss this on a case-by-case -case basis. Co-locating batteries with renewable energy generators, particularly solar power, has become more mainstream over the last couple of years. If you can get the metering and the sizing of the assets correct, the efficiencies of sharing a site can make for an interesting investment case. But there's a lot of detail to get your head around. We can provide route to market services for batteries located with renewables and can interact with the solar PPA in a way that settles the site accurately, meaning that sites can be optimized independently all together without losing revenue. Please get in touch if you would like more information.